Welcome one and all to the cul-de-sac trash podcast. <laughs> I'm never Yo, singing God, again. That was the worst story <laughs> ever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> scratch that. <laughs> All right, scratch that. Uh, Cul-de-sac trash, Saber Court podcast. We're here on Valentine's Day. Um, this is the Valentine's Day blues, uh, I'd like to say. That sounds like a Cowboy Bebop episode. Anyway, it probably is. We're here with Nizari Wells, who's made his yes. third in a row podcast, along with me, of course. You know, we're still going strong. We're going strong. We lost Bailey, a fellow soldier in the, in, <laughs> in the run, uh, but he'll be back soon. We've got, though... Jacob Payne here today with Hi. us. He is infamous for being killed off in the first episode of Common Odyssey. How does that feel, Jacob? <laughs> um, I don't. I mean, you were possessed. Okay, I guess. You were possessed, okay. and yeah, you were. I was gonna say I'm sad, but you know, I'm not. So we'll find a creative fine. way to bring you back one day if if we ever get funding for another episode. You know what I mean? We're we're already we're we're out. We have no budget for the next episode. We are scrap. We're trying to get by, right? Uh, I always yeah. just thought like that was kind of what you were setting up. Like uh, I was going to be the kill guy. Like no matter what, if there was yeah. somebody like old Smosh always had people like that. Yeah. Like the neighbor that always got killed or run over or whatever. Or Stevie. Well, my thing so is. I figured that's what you call it. Fodder. <laughs> right. Yes. Well, my thing is if I, if someone's introduced in common odyssey, either in the past or in the future or whatever, and I feel like they're not going to be there long, I got to find creative ways to kill them off. And each time I get nervous, I'm like, who am I going to kill off next? Imagine I kill off me, <laughs> the main character, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So Jacob, and then all we'll, your we'll uh, vlogs you are back. from a, a ghost point of view. Yeah, so or someone like spooky fog. I might just hand hand over the uh, the microphone to someone else. You know what I mean? Like I might hand the torch yeah. to to <laughs> my, a successor. Uh, or that episode comes, it's like, "Hey guys, oh. I'm here at this local barn. I'm gonna see if I can get the farmer to kill himself. Let's go." Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. Nazari, at least the, at out. least the black character <laughs> didn't die first this time. You know, we're we're winning. BLM, hey, Black History hey, Month, BLM. We're hey. winning. We're winning. I, uh, oh. My head was already like this. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, support, what was that? But what was I wasn't that? trying. Right, right, we're canceling. We're canceling. Hey, we gotta Clip stop it. the podcast. We gotta stop the podcast. <laughs> Audio viewers, you, 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 you. I, I envy you. <laughs> no, but yeah. Uh, Common Odyssey. That's a what a. What, I'm making. I'm. I started editing this next episode, and it'll be the first brand new episode. Um, that hasn't been a uh uh re-edit i guess you could say and I'm, I'm excited about it i'm excited about it we're looking good the channel's pretty active i think the podcast is helping out with it but uh we're getting the we're <laughs> we're getting the consistency back um but yeah i really liked the the podcast idea like i mean i barely have time to hang out with you guys and at the very least this seemed like a a measured thing like every whatever blank day for so many so much time we could just kind of chill and talk and i was yeah. like I can do that. You know, I yeah. can't do like the indefinite, like it's three 30 in the morning. You guys up. It's like, no, no I can't, but this occasionally I can handle. Yeah. So. No, everyone, everyone I've talked to has been super down because it's like, we're already just, it's, it gives us a really cool reason to hang out and, you know, do a, have, make content. I mean, I've had people, we've been getting like, okay numbers, you know, we just started and, and we're trying to figure out what we're doing, but I think uh, a lot of people have been enjoying it so far and I'm, it's just I mean, fun. everybody and their cat sister has a podcast, so you know exactly. the numbers probably aren't going to skyrocket. Oh, but I it's mentioned, still, it's, yeah. you know, just like adding to the collection of content. It's always a good thing. Yeah, Maybe there's nothing original brand. about this. Exactly. You gotta build the yeah, brand. Yeah, gotta build the brand, Dad. Brad, Nazari Brad, is infamous Brad. for being on this podcast and also hating it at the same time. Uh, yes. I am the villain of this podcast. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah, he's having an uprising. But where's I, I the boss music? Uh, Where is it? In the first episode that we uh, that there's like over eight hundred fifty thousand podcasts anyway, so we're just adding to that cesspool of garbage on the internet. So, um, and, yeah. And you know what the worst thing is? Like, there's somebody like Bill Burr. This is just a tangent because I thought about this when I heard about. It. And I'm sure Bill Burr has his own opinions too. Somebody like Joe Rogan, right? Known for podcasting, you would think he like was one of the first ever podcasters, right? He wasn't for whatever reason. I mean, his content, you know, he had the, the MMA reach experience. And then he was also like Oprah, where he got everybody who had their sister's brother's uncle who got pregnant on the show to talk about. But Bill Burr had a podcast like five, ten years before Joe Rogan. And you know what? People still don't listen to his podcast a whole lot. So I think yeah. that's sad. Man, All I know um, is Hulk Hogan's podcast better drop soon because fuck. <laughs> Everything that Bill Burr has to say, I want to hear what Hulk Hogan. 
Jesus Christ, this man. I went to the supermarket today, brother. The only man. the only podcast I remember that that has gone on for a long time is Rooster Teeth podcast. They started in what? Like I, I'm I'm probably bullshitting, but like 2005 maybe or something like that. Like it. Oh, it's yeah, like like long, long. Yeah, long, that's long the longest running one that I know. But I haven't been in podcasts for a while, so <laughs> I'm pretty new. Uh, but yeah. I was also going to say real quick, though, and this is I'm really happy you're here, Jacob, because I was going to bring this up with you weren't here either way, just because it's something I've been doing. And I feel like you um, this would be a good conversation piece for you. I've been watching a television show. And it's called Watchmen, the TV show. And Ooh. I finished it. I started it when it first came out. I watched the first episode, but I just finished it. And I really wanted to talk about this because I loved it so much. And I recommend it, guys. It is so damn good. Plus, I read the comic book a couple months ago. We pulled ago. out the list and added it to like the add 500 the other shows yeah. I have to get. But you know, the, but to the watch thing at some is, point. and this is a good selling point for you because it's an HBO original. So, you know, it's along the lines of Sopranos and all that shit when I it comes do, to I do, that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I was just like, I was blown away by it. HBO. I ordered it. It was only 16 bucks for the whole, it's a limited series, but it was only 16 bucks, which is pretty cheap. And it came in the mail today. And dude, I've never gotten it's like a, million a Blu-ray dollars case. for digital content. Exactly. I, I've never gotten a Blu-ray case more mangled in the mail. Like it was a disaster. Oh, no. I was like, I, I picked it up and it, it literally, I'm not even joking. It fell to pieces <laughs> in oh. my lap. I had to pick up these little pieces. I'm like, Ripley, don't eat this. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. The only thing I've had like that is I got a, a gift one year that was like a game. Uh-huh. And I opened it like Chris, like I opened it, it was like, whoops, dropped it. And somebody got up and stepped right on top of it and crunched the case like around every edge. And that was just, oh, so I, I can sympathize with the, your, your nice, pretty case there yeah. being well, I mean, I, dismantled I, before I, you even get to look at it. I'm pretty mad at the post people. I'm going to, I'm going to John Wick them now. You know what I mean? I'm to be fair, them. you did get your package. I did. <laughs> Lately, Dude. that's been a problem. <laughs> No, and and it, and it's because I ordered two things. Let me get, let's say this. I ordered the show because I wanted the show badly. I was like, this is I don't I don't watch that many shows, but this one really spoke to me. Um, and it was like, hey, oh, it wasn't digital. I can't think. Yeah, okay, no, never no, mind. Was, I, I, yeah. I just caught up. It took you see how the real time it took, but it's I was okay. thinking you ordered it You've digitally doing- on like Amazon. I'm, I'm giving continue. I'm with yeah. you now. I you, understand. I understand, Jacob, because you've been doing so much school. Your brain's a little bit fried. We'll get to that in a and second. I'm just slow, dude. I'm like the DMV from Z- uh, Zootopia. Jesus Christ. What a good, quick analogy. Anyway, um, so I had to get <laughs> something else, right? To get free shipping, because you know how I am. It was like $8 more. I got this. I'm going to show this to you guys. Audio Coupons. viewers. Coupons. I'm going to show this to the uh, the camera. I got Scooby Doo Cyber Chase all blue. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, Let's go. watch party tonight. Totally watch you party. Know, I remember loving that one. I yeah. remember loving it as a kid, and honestly, it's it's not that good. Is it not? What you've seen it recently? You're lying. You're saying, I, I've seen some of it recently. I've seen some more. To be honest, I watched my review every single Scooby Doo. Oh, uh, okay. That's... And they were also like, I remember liking this one, but honestly, in terms of plot and stuff, it's like mediocre. Yeah. There's, it's not a bad movie. It's still a Scooby Doo. It's classic, but like. Scooby Doo made a lot of strides and they made a lot of movies and some of them were like really 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 good and some of those I still haven't seen and Cyber Chase is like eh. Cyber Chase the is the lies. one that came out along the it lines has a, of it has um, a really crap ending it just kind of like throws everything downstairs instead of walking down there. dude I haven't seen it since like we used to take little car trips and we'd have a little TV in the car. And that's when I remember watching it, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Dude, uh, dude, I had a portable DVD player. Yeah. Everyone had one of the, it was oh, so yeah. cool, too. No, guys, I didn't have the portable DVD Watch player. We had, a, we had a TV, a box, a tube TV. Oh, yeah, you guys had the third. It was a little bit, it was really small, though. Um, but we, I, we was that in that. one of the cars or did you have like a portable DVD player? That no, was, or would, not, you didn't have a, I know you just say you don't have that, but it was like, was it attached to the car? No, no. Okay. So we put a little piece of plywood, uh, but in the console area, I guess. Oh, DIY. Yeah. This and we had little cool. boards cool. that hold it down. I'm like, why did they what do that? The why did they love us yeah. enough to do that? We were spoiled. Um, cause but, they didn't want to pay yeah. for the highest. You were you spoiled? Yeah. Like, I'm like, were you spoiled? <laughs> No, I mean I don't know. Dude. You've seen his house. He's he's like teetering on the edge. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So, are we ranking Scooby Doo or what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, uh, I mean, I'm no, not qualified. No, I'm sorry. I can't qualify either. Take I'll, everything I, I say. say with I'm sorry. I keep Island. interrupting you. You you were saying. Well, I'm, Cyber no, Chase I'm infamous in for interrupting on the podcast. I just want to let you know this already. That's what I'm claiming. That's my claim to fame. But I was saying Zombie Island's the peak of of Scooby Doo in my opinion. But it was it came out the same time around. 
uh, Alien Invaders, Cyber Chase, all that stuff. Same voice actor, Scott Irons, you know. No, the real, Appear- the real Uh-oh. life, like the very first real life Scooby Doo movie is the top tier of Scooby Doo movies. I yeah, don't care. That is I good love shit right that there. movie. You got I'm Freddy a fan Prince of the Jr. Second one. Matthew Lillard. No, I prefer the first one. one. Me and Nazari, we, we, the first one it, to me is way better. The vibe they got, Mr. It was Bean. so perfect. I yeah, haven't seen the second perfect. one since I was a kid, and the same to the first. But I remember, like, I don't know, I was like creeped out by the first one. But the second one was just stupid, goofy, fun. I, I'll like, say this though, and stuff and the minor 49er. I remember, and then obviously, like, buff Shaggy. I love those oh, scenes. Shaggy. I love that scene. Um, was, and when they do all that, that was great. But there's one scene that I the only scene I remember from that movie. Um, because I, and I, and I've seen it co- quite recently, but there's one scene that sticks out to me and it's the skeleton guys and they're, they're behind a door, I think. And there's a shadow of them. They look like they're jerking each other off. And that scene always <laughs> I didn't catch see that this. as a, as an innocent little child did not catch that one. Yeah, I uh, did. When I was four years old watching it, I, I completely knew that's what that looked like. Yeah, I was like, ah, jack it off. <laughs> At I mean, I saw Austin yeah. Powers. I knew all those silhouette jokes, but oh I, don't know. I, didn't, I don't see some of the more subtle ones. It Austin really needed Powers. to be in the face, you know? Austin Powers. Good God. I watched that with my dad in middle school. <laughs> Bit uncomfortable. They had not, a not anymore. commercial that was like the villains, but for an ad. I don't know. I saw the ad for the ad, which is a thing, which is ridiculous. Yeah. I never saw the ad because I didn't watch the Super Bowl. Those um, ads were pretty weak. I'll so that's be honest. weird. But, I liked yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Zeus. I didn't yeah. care much for the BMW ad, but I like seeing him as Zeus. Yeah, I mean, we got a Lord of the Rings trailer. That was about the coolest thing I. <laughs> yes, think that I saw. was cool. I did see that. I was really hoping for Obi Wan, but I just yeah, it doesn't. It's whatever. I've been watching Boba Fett, so I was just like on that Star Wars high. Except I didn't really love Boba Fett at all. <laughs> I guess I probably shouldn't go backwards on the comic because it's just be easy to keep that momentum. But I do want to mention, so apparently, like, there's a Scooby-Doo movie, an anime Scooby-Doo movie that came yeah. out that you guys have probably never heard of. And I only heard of because I watched this reviewer. They did a crossover with Kiss, the cartoon. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen it. it. Yeah, we've, we've seen it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're real we'll worse. Party for it, bro. That one is supposedly, like, really good. I watched it. I don't remember it, but I watched that one. Yeah, I feel like there's more than one though. For some reason, like they always hook no, up. No, yeah, kids. there has to be more than one. Right? No, I tell you what, we need to watch party. Scoob. Oh that hell! Mo- no, that movie. <laughs> but oh, I know what's going to God, I'm afraid. I would know. I just can't. I just couldn't do it. I was. I wanted to want to watch it, but I heard so much bad stuff. Dude, I, I can't believe they didn't let Shaggy be Shaggy. Yeah, I know. Even man. now. Matthew Lillard, man. But I've been watching. I've watched Scream so much since then. So now, he, to me, I he's, need to watch he is, you haven't seen it. That's right. Oh my god, I seen Scream. that is my new favorite Halloween movie. It is just, it's perfect for me. But, Ever since you yeah. said that, I've been like, I guess I just, I don't know. I associated it with the scary movie too much. Yeah, I mean, because it's just a costume person. So I was like, well, it's not that scary. It's probably ridiculous, and it's an old school horror movie. They're making fun of it. And I'm sure it is at points, but I, you made me think that okay, okay, it's probably just it's a good movie. Well, before I, you know, before I knew it. what Scream was, I was thinking it was a B-rate horror movie that came out when all those other movies did. But turns out that's the one that kind of inspired. I know what you did last summer. Obviously, scary movie because scary movie is just a it's just a parody of Scream. I Uh-oh. thought I know what you did last summer came out before Scream. Did it no. not? No, it did not. It came out in like two thousand four. The one with oh, <laughs> with I did not. I was thinking it was like in the nineties or eighties. Daphne, I think they're both in it. But yeah. The uh, original one? The first one? No, no, no. The, the 2004 one. Because, I, yeah, I think you are right. There is okay. an original one. But, yeah. I, same way as, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre has an old movie. Yeah. And then they got like, a new one coming out this horror, month, yeah. I think. <laughs> they got another Texas Chainsaw this month. Is it Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I thought it was some... I, th- I think it's Scream, also. Isn't Scream getting a, a revamp Oh, sequel? they just had one in January. You just had one. Okay. Yeah. I didn't hear great stuff about it. I could care Time less about Time just them. passes by my window and I looked at my computer to see the fleeting glimpses of life and I'm like, that looks interesting. Back to the grind of writing on paper and thinking about math. And then I look outside and it's four months later and I'm like, well, I yeah. guess I missed all that cool stuff I saw about. Well, Jacob, and, I, I and I'm going to add to this. I feel sorry for you that you are so busy this semester because we are getting so much content. We are I've getting been busy for four years, dude. Can I just actually five? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you regret your life real quick. We got, and I'm not saying any of this stuff will be good. I'm just saying it's kind of crazy. We're getting this. We're getting an Obi Wan show, a Halo show, Moon Knight. I did see the Halo show. I could just that keep looked badass. I, uh, I did you say Moon Knight? Yeah, Moon Knight. 
show. Well, sorry, Moon Knight's cool. I was thinking of um, the Spectre Ghost or the Spectre from <laughs> oh, Cartoon Network. I just thought of fucking um, what is oh uh, what is that show? Always Sunny in Philadelphia or whatever. And it's uh, what is it? Day Man or whatever. That's oh, what I don't that know. Think Wait, of. is that Charlie Day's character when he's just in the green suit? Green yeah. suit man. Or is yeah. it something? Yeah. Dude, it's me and Jacob a, started oh, that show back in uh, college in our dorms. And I'm like, this is the did perfect we? show for just college, you know? We did, didn't we? Yeah, that was always fun. We would get um, um, food from campus. We watched like that. a season and a half or something. Yeah, that was really fun. That show, I, it's a very great show. It's a funny show. Very great show. It's a good um, show. I'm trying to think. Was that of- when we were still using your um, <clears throat> found fire stick ads oh, yeah. uh, programs? Probably, probably. Not I, to know, you. I had Hulu <laughs> at that time, actually, and that's I, I think it streams on Hulu. I was it Hulu there? Yes. Was it, was it Wes's Hulu? Hulu? I think you recall much of that. I, mean, I, I have no idea. Hulu, and he was like, "I hope Wes still paid for Hulu this month." Let yeah, me go watch it probably Hulu. was. Now that you say, I think I'm still bumming. I'm still bumming. I uh, uh, yeah, no, I. Uh, Oh, I mean, hey, they got those guest slots for a reason, man. Somebody, somebody's got to use them. Well, Wes, is, you? Wes is bumming off of his girlfriend's family right now. But I get the mm. residual effects of that because he leaves his Apple TV in the room I you hang out in. So I'm watching HBO Max, like, um, which is like one of my favorite streaming platforms right now. Dude, I'm watching more shows than ever before. And that's weird I for completely me. transitioned my parents from like old school cable networks to yeah. just because they would only watch like four shows. So I was like, you know, we could just cancel that. And get the streaming services you want, and then you'd say about fifty dollars a month, and they were like, "Okay." And so we just canceled our TV because they were annoying anyway. And that's what we do. We just have like four streaming services, and it's still cheaper than regular TV was. The yeah. only thing they had to figure out how to get around is they wanted local news, so they just got an antenna for that. Yeah. So they pay less and get more, and we transitioned completely to only streaming services. So, and we kind of trade off. Occasionally, we're like, "Ah, we're not feeling Netflix, so we're not going to pay for Netflix this month. We're not feeling for that." You know, switch. I'm trying to get uh, mom. Right now, to switch out uh, Hulu or one of the other ones, I forget which one it is, to D- Disney Plus. Because I want to watch some of those, like Boba Fett and Mandalorian yeah. and even just, I don't know, like classic Disney movies. I don't yeah. know, I want to watch Plus Monsters Inc. Good. again. Disney Plus, I only use it for Star Wars and Marvel, uh, but that one, HBO Max. Netflix has some good stuff there, too. I And they're about to take off Daredevil, which I've been watching Daredevil, actually. I just finished season one. Where's it going? One. Um, I don't know where it's who, going who, yet. Who it might the rights? I don't is know. It I keep hearing Hulu in the talks. I don't know. It's weird, but they're taking HBO all the HBO Max is like Marvel latched shows. on to DC. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've been watching Peacemaker also, and that's on HBO Max. That show is so goofy. I like it though. <laughs> I was listening to a uh, to like the local Huntsville uh, talk show. John Boy and Billy is what it's called. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And Huntsville. yeah, <laughs> Southern to the max, man. John Boy and Billy show. Uh, you think we can get them on this podcast? they were talking about how they had a friend who they knew who was talking about. They were like, oh, yeah, have you watched Peacemaker yet? And he was like, no, but my son's watching it. And they were like, how old's your son again? He's like, 11. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, do you know what's going on in that show? Because they said in, like, the second episode, there's a full-on, like, TV porno sex scene. I'll I'll say that 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 is yeah that's shocking and all but there are some words they use in that that are because there are and I'll say I'm not gonna spoil anything but they have um white supremacists in the show and they like to use colorful yes. language and yes. so that Indeed. about color, there was some moments I'm that assuming. shocked me and I was like I can't believe they went with this I mean you know it was kind of blowing my but it's weird because I'm watching Peacemaker and that has that too but Watchmen also has the same thing I'm like why why are, why are white supremacists entering my life when I don't want them here because <laughs> life imitates art and art imitates life no I know and I right know. now it's been rough. but both of the shows are good so I, I you know uh they they have a good ma- I I can't we can't get political here because I know I'm gonna screw up and say something that gets me canceled but I'm just saying I think the shows are really good and they're handling their subject matter Maddle, they're, <laughs> they're, maddle. they're, they're handling the maddle subject really well. maddle quite well. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't even know. <laughs> um, no, so I haven't watched any of the of the nice shows with all the white supremacists, but I did play Mafia Three, which takes place in 1968 in yes, Louisiana. Indeed. So <laughs> I got lots of the yeah. the nice uh, uh, actor full on HD versions of I hate. And uh, yeah. but you got to shoot the people that were that is, hating yeah, that in, in any way you wanted. So yeah. that was a lot of fun. Put that in view. I imagine it'd be, but yeah, game, great. Yeah, game. yeah. it was fun. It's good. I played every last bit of content and all the DLC. Yeah, 
Okay, short pivot. Why is Vegeta doing the splits behind you? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just looked like three centimeters over and just see. Why? No, 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 he's doing a cheer. Oh, he's cheering. Why did I he's look like, at okay, Jacob's ready, background MP. when he's oh. it literally? Jacob's literally in a prison cell right now, and I looked oh, to yeah. see a Vegeta back there, and I was like, "Oh no, that's me." He's talking Bates <laughs> with hints of gray. <laughs> Dude, I was trying pot. to get. Dude, okay, let me just say real quick. Uh, I was trying to. Seriously, turn though, what is his pose? Why is it that? Okay, I'm not going to touch him because uh, he, you know, he's in pristine condition right now, right? Yeah, I was trying to job. get turn him upside down and have a kamehameha coming out of his butthole, <laughs> but I couldn't get it to work right. And I, I'm still <laughs> practicing. How, how would that work? It's I a very specific a whole, pose. I think, no, is on. this? Are these the cheeks? What is? What are is these this? the cheeks? <laughs> yes, these are the cheeks in that situation. That seems so okay. hard. I'm so sorry. That's, audio that's a really big spread, man. How are you going to show that on a doll? We got I'm this sorry, little connector figure. here that for the stand, and I could just have it coming out that and kind of look like that. I'm so oh, sorry. It just looks like he got hit. I'm, I'm sorry. This is even an outdated reference, but it's the newest I got. It looks like he got hit by Barris so and it's just like flying yeah. through the air very quickly, unable to move. <laughs> We're playing with action figures on the podcast. Man. Bro, that's why our podcast should be number one. <laughs> anyway, oh, speaking God of props, I did have something. Um, I kind of just asked the head, do you have anything you can use as candy or actual candy? Nope. Just real, real quick. Just I really no. don't. Darn. Well, I just wanted to say happy Valentine's Day, boys. And I Jesus wanted to Christ. give you both a nice chocolate. Um, no, so but gay. virtually because technology hasn't increased that much. Yet. So open up, Brad. Nope. It's no, and you're not. That's mm, the way I have it set up. Is you're not. You're uh, that's not your. You're just throwing it the wrong I way. Think you might what, be, well, what is it for you? That's for me. What is it for you? What wait, here? Dip, I don't you know. There? Wait, wait, hold on. No, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, uh, I don't know bizarre, where we're gonna be you, until I put, wait, like do wait, this in post production, man. Get shit out of my square, man. Just for me. The Sorry, symmetry is bothering right Brad now. You know, yeah, yeah. So because I just realized that we're not even. I mean, I gotta. I, I don't want to do. You're this. gonna I have to edit to us to. into a line and, <laughs> I'm and basically, figure out. Yeah. No, I don't know where anyone's going at this point. I was gonna give you some nice chocolates, or you know, some I don't kisses. know where anyone's gonna be but, uh, on the I screen know, right now. Somewhere around me. Here. Have you seen any of the video podcasts yet, Jacob? No. Good. I started watching a few kidding. times, and I just just haven't. Yeah, I have this crazy. We're we're it's just a it's just a crazy background we have going on, but I love it. So. I feel like I feel like I should be in the center due to aesthetics, uh, and it's Black History Month, so you know. You you BLM. know what? you just got you just it got your way into the center. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I thought Black History Month was January. Is January? It's February. February. It's February. It's February. February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black, Black History Month. What have I been thinking? No, it's because Martin, okay, Martin Luther Martin Luther King Day is in January. Yeah, that's in January. Okay, that's oh, wow. God damn it! All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. Pivot quick. Uh, so I got Cyber Chase. Uh, Scooby Doo. <laughs> no, get the fuck out of here with the Scooby Doo <laughs> bullshit. Have you ever played the Scooby Doo video games? No. Bangers. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hold so on. good. This no, is blowing my uh, mind. Well, I want to play it. I want to play a Scooby Doo game. I've been there's wanting like a Scooby Doo. There's like five of them, and they're all great. Oh my god! I watched. I had the old um. Namco and Star Wars plug and plays. They're you know the Star Wars plug and plays weren't real games. The Namco ones were real games. They apparently had a Scooby Doo plug and play. Well, first of all, do you guys know what plug and plays are? Yes, yeah, I had one. This, okay, go all of it. That you know, two thousand five to ten, that was all the rage. Just to get a little AV connector, plug it in, and a stick that had some buttons and play games. Yeah. Now everybody has. You know, anyway, um, I'm not gonna get all old man about ATK back in my day. We had anyway. Um, but apparently, I, so I saw those, and then I also seen a PS1 Scooby-Doo game, and they both were terrible. So, are those in any of the five you think are great? I, or? I, be- I believe not. I'm talking no. about uh, House of 100 Frights. Um, I do remember, uh, I remember seeing that one advertised on all the DVDs. That one did look Okay, good. so it's two PS2, one GameCube, and two Wii, I'm pretty sure. And they were all bangers. They would make such a good oh, Scooby Doo game if they made a modernized one. Make it like Arkham Investigation. Oh, okay, this is yeah, nice. that would be. Go to someone actually, else. Go to someone else. I do you remember watching someone play one. They, I uh, want isn't another there Batman. one where there you start in a? I mean, you start at like the the uh, hideout in like a swamp, the clubhouse in a swamp. But I think the first mission is in like a cowboy town. Is that the one for Wii? That one sounds. I'm pretty sure that's the I don't, one for Wii. I don't. I don't remember that one. I'll no. be honest. That, okay, I watched. That sounds these more are like all Sly YouTubers Cooper. and clips and 
No, I no, I can tell you every bit about Sly Cooper and what they're for. Yeah, me too. But uh, all right, don't. we're we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> okay, how about Lego Sly, Sly, Scooby Doo game? They, they they're gonna make it. We're right? gonna play it on this channel. Me and Brad. I'm gonna make Brad play House of a Hundred Frights. House my Hunter. favorite Scooby Doo game. Be so good. Oh, so uh, it's weird. I remember that one being advertised on the DVDs because, like I said, I watched Scooby Doo. To, um, if it's the one. No, I'm thinking of how, the mummy. I think I had the the mummy Scooby Doo. Where's my mummy? I think I watched that one on that portable DVD player to wrap everything back up. And it always had an advertisement. They advertised House of 100 Fights, but I actually don't remember House of 100 Fights. I remember the weird. Do you remember the weird DVD games they would have where you could like yeah, click? Oh, games they were the terrible. Menus? They were so bad. Yeah, I know what you're talking I about. I remember that where you were like in a mine cart. And you had to click yeah. directions for the I'll play the same and that's one. what's in my head for House of 100 Frights. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll play the same one. God. Uh, Terrible. Yeah, rough. Yeah. I, yeah. I, they really yeah, make I, I shoddy just, products. I'm just thinking, yeah, I just, that's a thing I never think about is a Scooby-Doo video game. But when you said that immediately, I was like, wait, I want that more than anything right now at this point. Because I'm trying to, like I said, I think on the first podcast, I'm chasing nostalgia in my video games, so. I mean, that's like I said, I'm playing Lego Star Wars and no one's stopping me. Jacob's going to play it too. Uh, do you guys know what Betrayal at House on the Hill is? Yeah. Board game? Board game. Yeah. Yeah. So I think a, a video game for Scooby-Doo is kind of rough because like it's you can't do enough adult material to appeal to the adults that play except for the, you know, just enjoy kind of kiddie stuff. But you can't do a lot of the more fun stuff it would be to see, to, like, see the Scooby gang do, like say hit somebody with a shovel. Um, and then it's so you, you can't make it too kiddie for the kids. Otherwise, it's just like, you know, a money grab. And I don't really see how the gameplay would be new or fun. I mean, it's just another like TV game, but they have a board game that is so Betrayal House on the Hill is literally like you're in a spooky mansion and you have to solve what well, you have to survive. But you have to figure out what's going to happen. They have a variant that's Scooby-Doo themed. Oh, OK. My friend, I have a friend that has it. We're going to play it. And yeah. so like the whole game, but Scooby-Doo. Now that I think is like really neat because there's like a, or even like Clue or something. There's like a solving aspect because they solve mysteries. Otherwise you end up with a game where like you you throw pies at people or monsters. I mean, Scooby-Doo lends itself to just an investigation detective game. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised if they show up in the new Batman movie, you know, since it's a detective movie. I totally would. 100%. Yeah. Be surprised. They take off the the Riddler's mask. What the fuck are they doing? (laughs) Paul (laughs) Dano. Yeah. Raggy. Raywood's coming. Like, Zoinks, man, what do you mean? And then they just both freeze and then get, like, beat up by a bunch of thugs. And then every child in the audience is like. Uh, Jacob, and then Miles gotta... swings in with the swagger of a black teen. Um, I'm sorry, that's. <laughs> isn't, I'm sorry, isn't that Marvel? <laughs> Guys, I don't care. That's so funny. I can't. Nah. <laughs> I, uh, I, love I just it. got a text from Matt Reeves. to say, He said, stop spoiling the plot. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. sorry, Matt. Yeah, we just got to apologize to the director real quick. Wait, we were reading oh. the script, so yeah. that's that's sorry. I was like, you guys. Need I don't to know stop. who Matt Reeves is. That took oh, me a sorry. full like. Oh, it's hypothetical. He didn't get real text. That's a director that he's playing the. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Lucas, is that you? Hello. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a I have Matt Reeves' cell phone number, so we're kind of like on a name basis, you know. So it was on a name of, first basis, on a name last for a middle name same, basis. Same we're on a middle name basis. Um, you know what I mean? Um, Which um, is. I I really want to change my middle name, kind of. I think it'd be so fun. The only reason I don't do it is because the process takes Wait, forever. Wait, to what? Oh, I don't know. I want to kind of make it like a horror <laughs> movie style. I just think it'd be fun to change my middle name. Well, for a second, I was like, you know, let's let's go. Let's do something, like I said, horror, like a horror-related thing, like Bradley Machete. And then I will direct any other movie outside of horror. And it's like, what? Have you, have you seen the movies the man named Machete is in? It's not really horror, No, I'm just exactly. saying, for example, it wouldn't be Bradley Machete. I'm just saying, you know, you think of all the horror movie directors. You think of Rob Zombie, for example, you know? But I would have the middle name. Oh, a horror for director's name. sake. I had no idea why you started talking about names. No. I was about to so get your name. Like, okay, you, you want to change make, it? Quiglio. There you yeah. go. It's a middle name. No, it has to be You horror. should make, like, romance movies. Yeah, with, exactly. Like, that. With a, but, like, like C-tier romance name. movies. You know the I mean? ones that only end up in the Walmart bins. Yeah. Like, the deep, deep... No, you got no the one's idea. ever going to find this Walmart bins. Yeah, you got the right idea. That's exactly what I did. But like I Actually, said, you know what? Dollar General bins. I'm, let's let's oh, bring it fuck, down. Come on, here. Jake. I'm kicking you. <laughs> it's too low. No, but yeah, the process is too long. So I, I would never I would never do that. It takes too long to change your middle name. But I'm like, I just don't care about it. You know, I got my first name, my last name. Like, why do I need a middle name? You know what I mean? <laughs> 
it's, it's just too it's extra baggage <laughs> is all i gotta say so i could but now you're just defending it. all of the um the uh kingly families and the uh, royal Ugh. families with the whole middle the whole reason people have last names is for that reason everybody just used to have one name that's why yeah. they always say first of his name because you had a name and then last name was a big th- deal. Then you had like, oh my, they had a last name. Well, aren't we fancy? And then they had yeah. middle names. And now we have sirs and ma'ams and misses. And then we have esquires and juniors. And, you know, I think we're a little named out. I think we are a little named spoiled. I think we have too many names. You know, we don't even use them for most things except for like social security number checking. Yeah. So you, I, think, I think we need to go back, revert, revert humanity we back really to one do. name. I want us. We, <laughs> we don't need. need Better titles, I guess, also is a thing. We need just better, you know what I mean? Titles. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just say we need to revert during Black History Month? BLM. What? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, well. BLM. I, uh, Problematic. No, this, yeah, Jacob, this is no, called Dead in Common Odyssey. We couldn't risk no. the, <laughs> We couldn't risk you <laughs> being a menace any further. <laughs> uh, I want to say, I, I shouldn't. I, <laughs> you said you menace, and I immediately won. Fuck it. I, I menace to society? Yes, extremely mm-hmm. menace. To that would be nice. King Jacob, Cole, the way you're dressed, you should have said Dennis the Menace, bro. <laughs> uh, <sighs> kick him off the podcast. He's got to go. Black History Month. Get him <laughs> out of here. No, I, I, I'm giving everyone a, the Just benefit of the doubt. Just grab it. <laughs> oh my god, that was really that was pretty good. I forgot you had wheels yeah, on your decent. chair. That was decent. That was decent. That was yeah. not bad. So I think, yeah, no god. It would be better if I had the big classic like. <laughs> Claw like a shepherd's hook. Yeah, <laughs> just pull it from off screen. Bo Speaking Pico. of shitty grabbing movies, have you? Got, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, have you guys seen that movie where it's like um they're in Japan and there's it's like these demons come and just drag people to hell randomly. Like you get a text and they're like five days and you're like, well, shit, bro, five days. If you get fucking. All I know is the ring where you have seven days. I've no, still never seen it. I just know it's ring like in seven these, days. These so. demon gorillas literally just <laughs> appear and then grab you and drag so you. I missed the part of gorillas. <laughs> No, they're dead, go- bro. They're gorillas. I'm not. I'm not even trolling. They're demon gorillas. Oh, and they're like, yeah, you're about to die soon, buddy. You're like, oh fuck. Yeah, I mean, it's fire. Good movie. I, I don't think it exists, Nazar. You're going to have to show proof. It does. <laughs> so, is, he, is there for a part where it gets really scary and they, like, come out of a big mist? No, but there is a fake uh, religion so, that's wait, based wait, wait, off wait, wait. of it. So, so, there's no gorillas in the mist? Oh, I love that. That was, mm. good. That was a good joke right there. I'm going to give you that one. That was a good joke right there. No, yeah, okay. I was but about to no, say, I no, that wasn't. existed. Okay. I mean, they're made of smoke, so I guess there could be some mist <laughs> in the general area, you know? Just keep feeding me words. I'm sure there'll be a 90s rap song that, that it's in the title of that I, I, I'll know at some point. Oh, my so. God. My, we were watching the Super Bowl halftime show, right? They had Snoop Dogg, I watched Dog, that. Dre. It was interesting. Everybody looked very old. Yeah. Man, they moved like 50 cents. I was, was like, like, why 50 cents hanging upside down? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and then his yeah. chain was like here and he was like. No, it's like my God, but yeah, my parents were like, "So, what's the difference between East East Coast and West Coast rap?" I'm like, "Uh, it's like go go on." How long you got? You got yeah. How long you got? Because honestly, I would just feed them misinformation, not even purposely. I mean, I just I wouldn't know what to say. But I just thought that was was like, why? Where did that come from? <laughs> but my dad likes Snoop Dogg, so I, I that's always fun. That's always fun. But yeah. not too long ago, like one of the way, like obviously, I'm. Um, White, so that fascinates me. Like every white person that's like all of a sudden super into rap. And when I say that, I mean like old, like uh, 2005 when they started trying to, you know, wear a do rag or I don't know, wear a chain or sag or whatever else, where that became like a, 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 not an apocalypse, what's it called? The word where it's just widespread of a bunch of people doing it and appropriation beyond belief. Uh, sorry, anyway, tangent aside. Um, I, I tried to learn more about, like, before even... I wanted to learn exactly all the, like, devel- historically, how the gangs developed. And so I went and watched a whole bunch of, bunch, whole bunch of documentary whole bunch of documentaries about how the West Coast gangs formed, the Crips and the Bloods, and even past then, how, like, some of the sex formed and how uh, sects formed. How some of the sex formed? Sex, yeah, how so the sex formed. Some of the sex formed. Jacob, it's um, Valentine's Day. You're allowed to say it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness, am I? Uh, and it's it's really interesting, like some of the names and 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 how they developed, and even then how the music developed from that. It was really interesting to learn about, and I bring that up to say I did all that, and I ended up going on this full deep dive where I eventually found videos by DJ Vlad. And I can't oh speak God. to their authenticity, but I full oh on went God. and watched like lots and lots of interviews with people who were actual gangsters on the rap scene, or at least they were actual gangsters, but I don't go to the level. Of, I'm sure they killed people, but they also act maybe harder than they even are as an older person. Yeah. Like they still, you know, they're like 40 and they're still like acting like they can uh, show colors or whatever. Some of them and some of them are just dumb. Anyway, um, but but they were there by like lots of accounts and they talk about the uh, uh, Biggie and Tupac stuff. And like specifically some of the, it was, it was really cool to see a lot of that stuff and to hear it from the mouths of those people. And there was a guy, Orlando, not Orlando James, he's dead. Um, what's his name? Anyway, there's one of the, he talked to one very specific guy for like eight, nine, ten hours and he laid it all out and they basically said exactly what happened to Tupac and Biggie. Oh wow. And it was really interesting to hear. And they didn't, this didn't come out till 2019. That's when it finally came YouTube? out. You said? Yeah, YouTube. Okay, yeah. DJ Vlad mm-hmm. is the guy. Now, he's supposedly not known for, like, the most pristine journalism. But, like, he it's still he has a lot of, like, raw access to stuff, you know. So, that was really interesting. And then I just wanted to say yeah. that. I forget the why whole, I brought it up exactly. Well, but we, you know, we were talking about it. Knows. Oh, the super, right, the Super Bowl. Because uh, we were talking about that and the rap scene and all that. Yeah, yeah, bro. The whole hood knows DJ Vlad is not a reputable source. All he's doing is trying to get people to snitch on themselves. That's what his yeah. whole he show is about. That, but, but, <laughs> uh, what was his name? So, is it Mob James? I think it's Mob James. Oh, Listening to James. Mob James talk was really cool. I got kind of a DJ Vlad was a dick kind of impression, but I really enjoyed listening to Mob James talk about his life. Yeah. Cool. Cool. But uh, uh, yeah, so I say that because I like seeing that, and even though all the rappers and stuff are old, those are still like. Even some of my favorite rappers, obviously. And yeah. it was sad to see how old they seemed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 50 Cent looked like he was about to pull something. Or maybe he did, and that was the problem. He's almost, upside down he's, like I don't even bat. think he's 50 yet. I mean, I mean, once he hits 50, that'll be kind of it, a landmark. Uh, is he? I think he's like he's close. 46 or something. I could be wrong. He's got to be, be like 46. Look, okay. if you have six bullet wounds, you can add five years to your age. Hey, only thing I know about him is the PlayStation 2 games. You know what I mean? I have it. Bro, it's never, dang, it's barely those worked. are fire. <laughs> those are fire. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the only that's the only thing I know of him, to be honest. And that Damn, what you Curtis just said, Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. I did see a post on Reddit because I have like the um post from grandma where it's just like the most conservative and the horrible people that are always up in arms about something and they were like no 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 this was a, a retweet a, a screenshot of a retweet from a congress member because congress is ridiculous these days it's, it's, some of the people just anyway and it was straight it was like uh this Super Bowl halftime has turned into a show of debauchery and sex and it was like I think I three seconds like of a girl in booty shorts kind of shaking a little. Yeah, my, my dad was like I want, tell, telling my mom, I wonder what your parents are they thinking of this right shoes. now. And they're just like the oldest. They live in bumfuck nowhere, right? They're just like the most southern old people. I, oh, your just, parents' parents? Yeah, my my grandparents, right? I'm just thinking that's – that's they, I don't even know what they'd say. I wouldn't want to be in the room. I would. <laughs> yeah, they say lots of stuff. Yeah. Lots and lots of stuff. Lots yeah. of stuff. Well, I don't. I can't speak for yours, but I know personally, I hear lots of stuff where it's not implicitly like horribly white supremacist or anything like that. There's no white power or any, any mean stuff, but it's just kind of like undertones of, "Ooh, that was racist." Yeah. No. And that's <laughs> that's 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 yeah. I have that. Just and like I've seen make that. you shift in your seat a little bit. You're like, like that. Yeah. That's 1950s talk right there. It, oh, it's man. about oh, just as bad ears. in my eyes. I'm like, if you if you're even like think you're saying that and you're saying like that's that bullshit um obviously it's not like they, they'll stop they'll be like they oh fuck it's hard to say this and i'm trying to say this right like that it's just like so embedded in some of these people it's that just I've like seen all the like, experiences yeah. were around yeah. speech like that it wasn't like a racist thing but just that's how you referred to people but yeah. now now like even even my dad sometimes is like you know over in the orient and i'm like oh Oh, come on. Don't do that. The fact that you said that. Don't do that. that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not kind of, I'm not going to incriminate 
anyone I know. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's pretty rough here and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, you need a... Well, Twitter has helped me. <laughs> Stay away from that. As as backwards as that is, but yeah. Oh, shit. Guys, we've been going for 40 minutes. Keep the train going. Probably. I had to get a Dr. Pepper because, like, right before this, I was... Dude, I was streamed for the first time in forever because my stream labs was so fucked up for a while and I had to reinstall it and move it around and shit. And it finally worked. And I was like, you know what? I don't expect anyone to show up because no one does. But I was like, I'm going to play Lego Star Wars on the stream. I'm sorry I keep talking about it, but I played the original one for the first time in forever. Had a blast. But but I got to say this real quick. I was playing a mission with Yoda and he he's so fucking slow and he uses a cane and it pissed me off and the droids are shooting me. And... Dude, I was getting so hot and angry. And then I saw you, Jacob, text. And he's like, hey, I'm down to shoot the podcast. And I'm like, bro, I don't think I could do it. Like, I, I need to go to bed. Like, I'm going to get so angry, but I'm cool now. Dude, I was just thinking you were, like, in a chair watching your videos. Like, I'm tired. No, you're busy playing Lego Star Wars. Yeah, you, you and getting emotionally frustrated. drained. I was so embarrassed <laughs> playing it. I was like, I'm so glad no one's here because I'm cussing at the screen, bro. I'm, like, getting mad at Speaking the Speaking of Lego Star Wars, how are you feeling about the new one, man? <laughs> Oh well, we they showed I footage. It. They showed gameplay. It is different. I mentioned it to the on the pod last time, right? Because we were talking oh, about Dying okay, Light okay. too. I, I didn't get. I'm far really interested. I'm still not buying it yet. I'm seeing like mixed opinions, but uh, oh yeah, I'm interested. Well, I said and I said that I I'm only gonna I'm I'm gonna get Lego Star Wars because I just I'm a I'm a nerd and I suck. You gotta right? get the Lego games. I, I mean, you can't to. get every Lego game, but you gotta get every Lego. But Star to me, Wars I'm game. just I don't play or much video games it. anyways these days. I'm I'm barely oh, gaming, and I'm just like this I'm is a good casual. I'm trying to go back. My new um, goal is to go back in every, like, big game that was a milestone being in the indie world or, like, whatever that I've heard over the years we just haven't played. I'm going back to play those. Yeah. Like, I have a, a Forza game I'm playing right now, and I have um, Papers, Please, an indie game about uh, a about checkpoint. That. And uh, uh, I have, like, old Splinter Cells, and I have uh, Wolfenstein and lots of other stuff that I just didn't get to. Specifically, I like playing the games that are from like 2005, 2010 era, but I'm also even miss, I missed the ones that were like 2015, 2018. So I'm trying to get to those too. Just like yeah. the, some of the bigger ones that were in my mind, at least my, 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 my want to buy list. I just didn't buy. Yeah. Uh, so that's what, so even beside the new games, it's like, oh wow, a new game. Well, time to go through the list of 20 old ones I have and see if I can find one of those to play. And then I play that one and then I'm trying to get to catch up, but I'm never going to catch up. So I'm just like, I'm like, oh cool, a new game. I'll buy that in four years when it's $10. Yeah. And then exactly. I keep going with my life. I haven't game shopped in forever. I'm just thinking like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I do it for sale. It's horrible. It's horrible. I spend, I like spend 30 to $60 every time. It's sad, oh, but I, you know, the, the, <laughs> yeah, the sales went on, but I, 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 games, I, uh, $3, I $3. got $3. VR games because, you know, I got the, the VR headset, bro. I haven't touched it much. And you know, it, I'll come back They're to it there, eventually, though. but I still have the I, I just played a VR game. Where you like, I always thought like VR was really like, cause I, I, I got the VR chat and when you walk in the Oculus VR chat, it's really disorienting, but I played a different one, glory and something. And like the walking was fine. So now I'm actually down to play something like uh, saints and sinners or one of the other like actual like movement games in VR. So I'm kind of really excited to play VR again. I just yeah. got to get time to do it. Yeah. I just got to so find I feel you there. the, uh, just the will to play it at this point. Um, but uh, what I was going to say, I did drop a, uh, a rack, not really, but like I, I, when Comixology had the their winter sale, that's where I went to. You know what I mean? It was about yeah, about that much, right? Yeah, I, I bought I bought way too much. I bought way too much. Uh, but I'm almost done with shout out Ultimate Spider Man comics, best Spider Man ever. Uh, I'm about to read Miles Morales after that, uh, which is the same universe, I believe. But yeah, I just got a shout out. I'm almost done with it, and I can't wait to talk about it when I'm done. But bro, it's it, it's so good. So yeah. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What what, what you You're pointing yeah. to Brad on my screen. Are you pointing to me on your I'm screen? Pointing, yeah, I'm pointing to you. What was that? <laughs> okay, good. He's, he uh, was praising Spider-Man, so I was helping him once. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought we were. <laughs> BLM, man. It's Miles Morales month. What are we talking about here? Miles Morales, best Spider-Man, the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. Everyone knows that. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Absolutely. I'm I'm Thank stoked you. that we got the new one coming out this year. Uh, but I'm I'm more stoked to read the comics to kind of get better frame of reference of it because I, st- I like the, as much as I like the movie I'm just like I need more of it to really understand. I want to read comics. I want to. I've just kind of given up. It's I just oh yeah. There's so much, so I many know. movies, so many games, so many comics. I'm just like I can't. But that's yes. the thing. I shifted out. Games, Maybe I can though, pick one row of like 10, 10 series, 10, 10 comics, uh, and that'd be it. But it's also the hardest thing to get into because they make it so confusing for no reason. 
It's just I also like you got a Kindle and have them all digital. And while that's really convenient and cool, I mean, I would like to own all my stuff and I don't really have room to make a wall full of no, comic books. I agree. I mean, that's, um, I, I, only I saw you attempt to do that and I thought it was so cool and I wanted to do that. But it's like, I can't, I'm not doing that. Same reason well, I don't have a movie collection. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I have is a movie collection at this point. And some books. I have some, like, um, film books and stuff that I like to have, and art books are cool. But with comics, I was like, you know what? I want to do this digitally because I feel like they're getting torn and tattered when I'm not even using them. I don't know why. It's weird. A ghost is in my house. But um, turns out I actually prefer reading it digitally, too, and holding it in a little thin thing instead of a huge book. And just that being a bright and I could zoom yeah, in. Backlighting just, it's is perfect. Really yeah, backlighting is really nice on that. So I'm, I'm all for that now. And I was just like, I really like that. But I'm still doing physical media because I have too many Blu-rays to give up now. <laughs> I got to keep going. You know? You know? I, uh, you know? I have a, uh, a digital textbook this semester for physics. I had a regular one last semester. And I have this mode on my new monitor that like is reader mode. So it puts it into blue light and low light and stuff. And I'm like, oh, it's so nice. Yeah. I don't have to worry about light, but it's not straining my eyes. And How much was nice. it? How I much like was screens. the textbook? Drop the price. Textbook? Yeah. Textbook's not that bad. Really? I mean, if you get it hardback, <laughs> yeah. it's up no, there. I, uh, I didn't, you know, normal normal textbook prices. Dude, I went one semester where they're like, I had to get no textbooks. And I was just like, I'm living my best life at this point. It saved me so much money. I got money. three textbooks one semester for $54 in not total. Bad. Not bad at all. I actually, <laughs> I went to, but did you, did you go to textbook brokers? The, the, when, no. are, are you on UAH? Are you talking about UAH or MTSU when you went? Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. I got them from Amazon. Okay, got you. Amazon. I, I did that at That's first at Motlo. I rented hardback things. from Amazon. And I found them for like twelve dollars, thirteen dollars. It was great. Nice. Yeah, I was. I, I. It wasn't too bad for me all throughout. But yeah, it's never fun buying textbooks. Jesus Christ. Nah. No, I've, I went to look up this one again. It was horrible because it was like I just had this textbook, but I didn't know it was going to be the exact same textbook for the second part. It's the second version of the course because physics and physics too. Yeah. And I went to look it up online for this. For whatever reason, they wanted the version that wasn't the newest version, but it was the version right before the newest version. So not the 12th, the 11th. And when I went to Amazon and found the first price for the first lifting for the only available one, do you know how much that fucking book was? $4. $254. I was pretty close. And I was like... Nope. Yeah. Oh, I bro. You you know you've been in those classes where they tell you get a textbook and you never use it. God. Uh, I always use my textbook. <laughs> Man, I read. Nazari, I, mean, I can I tell to. you've been through that. Yes, bro. If I didn't read, I would never use my textbook for them. They never, like, I'm sometimes you, you're asked problems for them yeah. out of my books. But lately, all of my problems and all of my stuff is online. It's like the same stuff, but online uh, and in a different, you don't like, have any program real world problems for autograd. So, huh? You said all my problems are online now. Oh, <laughs> sorry. You said no, real world problems. I was like, are you make it a third world country joke or, or just a reference even? Because honestly, not really a joke. it could be it's interpreted sad. to be anything at this point. I would like to think, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, Once again, I have to pee really bad. Yeah, but, but, but that, that, I brought that up also. I, I was too, thinking about textbooks. <laughs> I was thinking about textbooks in the first place because you mentioned having a, a book collection. Yeah, and I was like, I used to want a book collection of all like interesting books. I have a whole list on my phone of like interesting books I've ever heard of or I want to have. Now my thoughts are is like to have references and whatever I do in the future, I need to keep books like this around and make a collection of these where I actually buy these and keep them on a shelf. Oh, so, hell no. That's Order of the Phoenix right there. Goddamn. The uh, only books we're yeah. reading is the Holy Bible. Give us our yes, scripture this sir. week, Brother Brad. All right. <laughs> uh, thou shall not have sex on mm. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough one that we probably me. gonna fail. Do you realize how many people all... are doing it right now as we speak on Valentine's Day? Does sex with yourself Central. count? No, Jacob, no. Unless okay, you're in VR. Good. Unless you're in VR. Yeah, I was gonna make a gay joke, but you know. Well, hey, we have uh we have we have like nine more minutes. But <laughs> July is not that far away. Okay, just because it's Black <laughs> History Month, I hope it's July, not June. Just because it's Black History Month doesn't mean you can just start being homophobic and yes, transphobic and cisnormative yes, and, and, and I'm gonna stop there before I actually start getting offensive yeah, I did have a friend my that headphones didn't just went out here. so I missed everything uh, you just said uh, smoking <laughs> is gay is what he just said basically to summarize <laughs> don't smoking, use gay as a derogatory term <laughs> <laughs> smoking or gay <laughs> this is on I'm sorry I can't we need to stop. I can't get that out of my head 
Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Don't don't strike us. So or I got this phone call. Scooby Doo Cyber Chase, and I was just thinking, um, it's not <laughs> rated. Fucking, apparently, nobody gives a fuck about your fucking Scooby Doo movie. I need. Did, uh, did you guys watch PBS? Yeah. Wait, okay, what? so every time I hear that movie's title, I mean, obviously, I know the movie. I was a kid when it came out, also, but they had an even older show that was also called Cyber Chase, and it had a kick ass theme song. I know what you're and talking about. It was on about. PBS, but the funniest thing was, it had like a star studded cast. It had Gilbert Gottfried and Christopher Lloyd and a few other people. I know what you're talking about. And that exactly. theme song, every time I hear the word Cyber Chase, it's like, just start circling in my head. And I would sing it now, but I'm not going to do that because in Cyber Chase, we're moving. No, nope, don't do this to me. Don't do this game. to me. Don't talk about the Cyber Chase because Mother Boy will get you by the death of Cyber Oh my God. Uh, he, he, he's banger. going. I don't same. recognize the song, but I know it's one that will get stuck in my head though because that, that's my that's that's a a condition I have. I used to know every word. It, oh, it was one of you those just like it came on. You know what's been stuck in my head actually for the past, I didn't want to say it, but for the past like 10 minutes ever since we were talking about Scooby-Doo. Me? Which wasn't ten minutes ago, but you know what I mean. Is a pup named Scooby Doo's theme has been stuck in oh, my that's head. <laughs> Scooby Doo, something I don't even know. It. I just know the melody of it. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just we, know that 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 one little theme. I don't know any of the words. That, that. shit came out in the eighties too. That song, that show was not good. <laughs> what? <laughs> the show was great. The actual childhood. show was not good. You see, you're getting exposed to this. You're getting exposed to things that are nostalgic to us in modern times, which is I, which is dude. I had a movie that was Scooby Doo, no Sh- Scooby Doo and Shaggy and the Reluctant Werewolf, and the it was when Scooby had a red shirt. <laughs> And it's yeah, like a negative two out of ten on all review things, and it's one of my like childhood movies. I'm sure it's terrible now. Oh, um, no. Just to give you an example, there's a scene where they're because the whole idea is it's a race, and Shaggy gets turned into a a werewolf by a group of monsters, including Dracula and the Hunch Bunch and a bunch of other stuff. But the ending of the movie ends up with a, a, a giant Wait. monkey, Genghis Kong, who is King Kong mixed with Genghis Kong, skateboarding on a roller King skate across the finish line. Dude. So that's a nice mental picture for the uh, like movie. Fucking so I, tomatoes. I get the nostalgia, trust me, but I can even say that one's not good either. I, I, I know it's like I remember them; they're in my brain, they're in my heart, but yeah. objectively, they're not that great. No, so I we know. Just, we just go skate past the fact you said the Hunch Bunch. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Not, man. I can like, say me, it, man. I've been enjoying the Hunch Bunch, man. I'm Look them up. Trying to get in. What what is something? What is something oh, that you are surprised? If that's something else, I don't know what it is. What um, is the guiltiest pleasure uh, you have that you're like, fuck it, I will stand up for this no matter how mediocre or whatever it is because I'm the got- hunch bunch. <laughs> okay, no, guiltiest <laughs> pleasure is it just like like something that entertainment like, guilty pleasure? Yeah, sure. Just anything that you like won't be critically well received, but you like I will stand up for it. And I'll tell you mine real quick. It's called. It's a movie called Fanboys. These kids. That shit sound. The, these kids. Listen, they. Storm, Fanboys has a cult following. They storm. Well, I'm just saying, it's not like it's a masterpiece or anything. But I'll stand by it forever and ever because it has a, a great, uh, incredible cast. Excuse me, William Shatner's in it. Uh, even. Uh, why did I just forget her name? I tell you, Princess it wasn't What's the her name? Carrie. Fisher, Carrie Fisher. Well, Jesus while Christ. you're floundering, 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 I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say it's, it wasn't a guilty pleasure, but now going back to it, it like is so even so Gravity Falls is the answer. Yeah. Gravity Falls is an amazing cartoon, but honestly, going back, it's a little more kiddish than I remember. Really? It's well, like I know I everyone watch loves it, but it though. I, it's yeah, a really good show, it. but it's also like it's still a kid show. And uh, anytime I watch those, it's like it's a great show, but it's still a kid show. I get that little bit of like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to be 23. I don't need. I mean, it's not like I don't need to be watching these, but there's other stuff I could be watching. <laughs> Bro, my guilty pleasure show would definitely be the Bubble Guppies. I don't care. They have straight bangers on that show, bro. <laughs> Outside. Are you going to say the bad guy next? Because I know the name the Bubble Guppies, but I literally can't visualize it. I don't know. I don't know the Bubble Guppies. I know the Backyardigans for the same reason. And I actually learned recently the Backyardigans had like a full on, like the people that made the music for the Backyardigans tried to use music that was throughout the world. So they used like Brazilian music and African music and Japanese and European and all this other stuff. But it was then made like a kid song. So there's a reason why they're all good, but I also um, never I, ooh, I did not like the backyardians. Bro, the outside like song it. for Bubble Guppies will 100% forever be legendary. I don't care. That song is great. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> 
I, I love it the range of the range of these these guilty pleasures. What was the one phenomenal. show with the uh, the hamster and the turtle and the whatever duckling? Wonder Pets. No, yeah. Wonder Pets. There was yeah. a day in second grade. I will never forget it. I'm scarred emotionally forever. Where uh, we like finished class early, and uh, and they were like, "Okay, let's watch TV." And they clicked it on. They were like, "How about SpongeBob?" And I was like, "Yeah, SpongeBob." And everyone was like. No, let's watch the Wonder Pets. And I was Don't like, be Wonder my Pets. Hamster. What's what's that? And then they were like, Yay, Wonder Pets. And then they turned on Wonder Pets, and they were like, Well, that's the backyard against theme song. It had a really dumb theme song <laughs> yeah. that's in my head somewhere. Talk. And Ming Ming to the Wonder Pets, and we'll help you. That song was a banger, bro. You remember? That song was a banger. I can't bro. even imagine <laughs> remembering that song. <laughs> I he used to go crazy for that. Jesus um, Christ. Dude. Yeah, so that, and then I was really mad and because they just wanted to watch. So all of these kids that could have watched SpongeBob watched Wonder Pets instead. Wonder Pets. And I was really sad. And I never got a day, and I never got a free day of TV again. But, <laughs> <laughs> free day? The show <laughs> was so bad, they took TV it away. away. <laughs> Is that what happened? No, we just never finished class early again enough to watch TV. You like probably, that. you probably just said a lot of foul. Actually, language. it's really okay. It's really sad, but that teacher's daughter had cancer. And so she went to take care of her, and we got a sub who was really mean. Bruh. And it was just, it just Bruh. wasn't good all around. I know you. No, because all around. No, you're childish. Because, you're no, childish. You made la- me laugh, bro. I'm not. I'm not laughing about the situation. I'm laughing that 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 shit was going no, on, and Jacob yes, was flipping out about are, Wonder bro. Pets. <laughs> <laughs> no, that well, I mean, funny. It, no, she like wild. began the year, told us about it, and like dealt with it, and and uh, yeah, it was bad. Can we real that, quick? That, while that we have Jacob here, dying. this is a conversation that, that I really too. want to throw out here, real quick. Jacob, calm yourself. We have we're, we're almost done, but I'm going to wrap this up by saying this. I wish we would have started with this, uh, Nazari. I don't think you've heard the story. All right, visualize this. We're in third grade. We're at a water fountain. Uh, we have like there's like three people around. Jacob says. I don't even know what Jacob says, and you can clue us in what Son you said. Son of a bitch, it's this? Yes, we're bringing this back. Trillion f- <laughs> don't, no, morphs. don't dox names. Don't dox names. I, I mean, is it's that not right? like he is killed that, anybody. It's not a big deal. It's just a situation that happened, bleep and he didn't name. have anything happen He's my only thing that happened to me. Bleep the name. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not bleeping the name. If this is the thing I'm thinking of, it was... Uh, I forget exactly what... I came... It was recess. We came back in from recess. I get sweaty and hot very quickly from, like, walking if it's too hot. And that has been the same since I was a kid. And so I went to the water fountain. And somebody cut in front of me and went to the water fountain. And they were taking forever. They were full on, like... <laughs> they were getting every <laughs> and then year. I was like I was getting mad and I, and they were taking for I was so sweaty and so tired and I wanted water so bad that horrible metal iron water so bad and they finally lit up and I was like what head under my head breath and but- I went to drink water <laughs> and they were like ooh they said they called me something bad they called me something bad and then they ran and told the teacher and like yeah. four other people went with them and they were like he said he said a really really bad word and then to this day I don't know what they thought I said if they oh, thought I said I know fuck head I know what they, they thought, thought I said, said. Fuck it. That was like that. I was like, that's. I didn't even know curse words honestly as a kid. I might have known like f word. I didn't know what it was. I didn't learn cunt till like high school, and I didn't know. I only just didn't know so much stuff. But um, yeah. So they thought I said whatever, and they were like, "Did you say that?" I was like, "No." And keep in mind, I'm an A student. I'm not quiet, but I'm a good student that always follows the rule, no matter how many times we're told to write off. And. Um, and they were just like, well, clearly you're in the wrong. Go right off two pages of I'm sorry. All right. And I mean, I was oh. seething at home. Like, I didn't say this. I'm not writing this. They were like, you got to write it. I'm like, I'm not writing this. They were like, you got to write it. And so I wrote it and then I came back and I had to tell Trillian. And, um, um, he, this person who will not be named, you can just bleep out in the editing. I'm like, not. <laughs> Zero, I hope he watches man. this and he hunts you down. Anyways, yes, my dude, he's like he's got his own life. Twenty four, he's probably fine. No, he's, he's never going to see. Oh, he's right. narrowing down these suspects very easily. I want you to know that. Anyway. <laughs> it's well, clearly, he was in the grade we were in. We live in the smallest like... town of, in in the world. Anyways, from my this is my point of view of this real quick, and this is what makes this great. The teacher, I didn't, I didn't know what he said. I remembered anything about it. No, I I don't remember. I, I heard him say- Wait, no, no, you told me later. You were like, yeah, yeah, you hold said on, that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. He needs to calm down. <sighs> you need to calm down. We're going to- I want to hear Brad. Great. I want to hear Brad. Uh, I didn't hear him say anything, um, but I just know everyone was saying, he said uh, the B word, and I'm just, I was thinking he said bastard. That's what I thought he said. And 
I went in there and the teacher was like, went over to me. Did he say something? What did he say? And I didn't hear anything. Or did he say a bad word? Is I guess what they asked me. I swear, I remember looking back at Jacob and he looked like he had the, he looked like he was about to see his, his life end. Right. <laughs> and I looked back at the teacher. I said, yeah, he said it. I don't know why. I don't know why. There was no reason for it. But look, uh, Jacob, I remember him going to the hallway, his face redder than everything. And this was because, you know, he was running, but also because he was about to get executed in the back of the school. Right. He was out there crying and throwing a little fit. And that's okay. I understand. You got falsely accused. I don't blame you. But I remember. No, bro. You're an ill man. Oh, I I was a snitch. And I I was a bad person. And I still am. It's my best friend. It's my best friend right there. And we were on the pavement waiting to get picked up. And, bro, he gave me the, the worst look of all time. Well-deserved, might I add. And I was no, like, our friendship. No, I didn't over. give you any look. I didn't know you did that till like, 10 years later. Oh, shit. Until now? <laughs> Until now. No, we'll keep up. luckily, it was Jacob before has some, was Jacob has some dude now. come up behind me and just grow up and kill me. Like, I get killed. Do it. Jacob, yes. how'd you plan this? No, yeah, I, I fucked him over big time. Um, That's and that was fun. great. Oh, L man's for real. But I was like, there's, he's looking at me because I was like, oh, he knew I just completely said he said the curse word. That's and what I thought. Keep in mind, these are the worst students ever. They talk, they're mean, but they they're bad, they watch least. bad movies, they curse all the time. But whenever there's an opportunity to tattle on somebody, they do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, bro. Uh, same, same class, um, different day, I guess. I, I farted so loud in this motherfucking it, class, bro. I farted so loud and we all blamed <laughs> it on another kid and I was part of the blame. I was like, I got out of Dude, that. Dude, you smooth. were a bully. You were a, you were a bully. I was just, I was raised in a mean household, I guess. I don't know. But like, I, we did, I was like, thank God we all you blamed this kid instead. But I was like, you know, that sucked that I had to do Damn, that. Damn, y'all were terrible people. I want you to know that. It's you know, shame on y'all. That's and I think that's where we're, we're, Jacob Nazari. We're ending the podcast on that note right now. We are bad people, and um, I don't know what else to say about it. All right, remember, kids, <laughs> and I'll see you guys. In the next oh, the song We were so close. We were oh, so close. In the so close. next episode, all my guys, gals, and fin boy pals. Oh, please, sir, don't so give me scrum. anymore. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, before no, we no, leave, no, 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 before no. we leave, I uh, want to mention I got Scooby Doo Cyber Chase. Oh.